Hi, I'm Mandy Whitaker, Public Services Manager at Tiffin Seneca Public Library. Welcome to our November Make It at Home Craft Program. Today, I'll be showing you how to make book page ornaments. Provided in the kits are book pages, Christmas clip art, twine, a rectangle template, a clear ornament, silver string, holly sprig, and a skewer. You'll need to provide scissors, glue, and a pen or pencil. We're going to make the paper rosette ornament first. You're going to take two book pages and a rectangle template, and we're going to trace around it. pages up. Next you're going to accordion fold each of the cutout templates. Make the folds small and try to keep them as even as possible. Once you have both sets folded, you're going to glue the end of one onto the end of the other. Press the entire speck together. And you're going to trim a semicircle around each end of the open page. This is going to give you a scalloped look for the edge of your ornament. Next, fold the stack in half like a fan. Open it up. You're going to take your twine, get it about even in the middle of the string, and you're going to tie it around the center of the fan. Tie a knot. Next, we're going to place a dot of glue around each of the open sides so that we can open it up into a rosette. For the other side, make sure that your string comes up in between to glue it in place. This will help to stabilize the hanger. It's going to be like this when you're done. And drop the glue. The string on one side and the paper over top of it. To finish, you're going to cut out your Christmas picture. Glue it to the center. And then tie the string to make a hanger. For the book page filled ornament, you're going to take one of the pages and you're going to cut one or two lines of text. Take 
your skewer. You're going to roll it around it to make paper curls. Pull it to release the curl if you'd like. And you're going to take your ornament, take the top off, and place the curl inside. Continue to do this until it's completely full. Holly. You're going to loop it through, and this has kind of like a bendy twist tie, so just wrap it around to hold it in place, and cut off the extra. To finish, take the silver string eat it through to make the ornament hanger. If you'd like to share your creation with us, post a picture in the comment section below. Thank you for joining me and happy crafting.